welcome or welcome back to my channel in today's video we're going to go ahead and pick some cards to see what blessings abundance and manifestations are coming in for you okay i'm going to go ahead and use the numinous deck to see what areas of your life are going to be affected in the near future this is a timeless reading so this applies to whenever you are watching it okay so um yeah Let's see what is going on here. Okay, we got sixth house of craft. Um, I'm sensing like, you know, just Virgo energy. Maybe you're going to be tapping into the Virgo aspects in your chart or, you know, whatever planets are in your sixth house. So sixth house has to do with work, details, health, well-being, diet, service, daily rituals. So I'm seeing that for a lot of you, you are really going to be focusing a lot on health in like the coming weeks. I'm also seeing six, like six weeks from now. Um, I feel like you're going to have this routine that you do or like you know certain vitamins that you take this daily routine like new habits and even like you know a new mentality a new thought process and i feel like you're going to be in a much better place six weeks from now than maybe you are right now if you are feeling a little bit discouraged about certain things i do feel like a lot of things are going well in your life and because you're really going to be investing in yourself you're going to be more conscious and aware of the good things that are going on in our life sometimes you know we could have like 99 good things going on in our life but that one bad thing tends to affect us a lot or maybe we think that you know things are worse than they actually are but when you really work on yourself when you really work on developing your mindset and mentality you you become more conscious and aware of the positive things that are going on okay that's kind of like the same deal with manifestation so you know when you manifest, when you really try hard to develop this you know more positive mentality then again you become um you get less triggered by negative things that are going on, okay? You're able to really mitigate those triggers and you shift your focus to the positive things. So even like the smallest thing, even finding like a penny on the ground will make you excited, okay? Because, you know, the thing with manifestation is, and if you're into this, you know this, the smallest sign, even like the smallest success um, really does go a long way. I know when people are trying to manifest, you know, specific things, specific outcomes, whatever, even like the smallest thing really excites them and that's something they hold on to. And when they do that they're able to like you know amplify um that feeling that positive feeling and you know what you focus on is what expands it's what grows right so they get more of that into their life which is um yeah which is something that i see you doing and i'm just seeing that um yeah you're just gonna be in a much better place like mentally emotionally even physically i am seeing that uh some of you could be taking up like new exercise regimens i, I keep hearing like yoga or like meditation or core power yoga or um yeah, like, you know, just a new exercise regimen that you're going to really like and enjoy, and it won't feel like work. Like Pilates is a good one. Pilates, um, in my opinion, is like the least um, exercise, the exercise, like there's certain exercises that I would do that felt like a lot of work, like sometimes just doing cardio on treadmill. Um, it just I, I got more tired doing that than I did Pilates and I saw like more results in my physical change, like physical appearance, than. um yeah by doing pilates as com as compared to like you know some of the ex other exercises that i would do did i stutter yes i did sorry about that um but yeah pilates is a good one um yoga maybe um a hot yoga that's a really good one i've been seeing a lot of um articles about that and its effectivity uh, its effectiveness i mean yeah i'm also seeing um yeah, service, like, you know, six house does have to do with like service to others and seeing like maybe volunteering opportunities coming your way, like really exciting ones. Um, maybe you could be volunteering through work, maybe, um, you know, you, you'll get the chance to really give back. And that, that's obviously a good thing because, yeah, giving back creates that ripple effect of positivity and it just comes back to you. Any Anything that you give out, that energy does come back to you. And a lot of the times multiplied as well. Okay, so do good to get good. We also got Leo the lover. Yes, I really do feel like you're going to be seeing a lot of positive movement in your love life. I do see... Um, you know, things kind of spicing up in that area of life. This says expressive, creative, loving, playful, warm, like yet, you know, ready to be spoiled. Romance being, you know, taken out on fun dates. Okay. I do feel like, you know, um, you're going to feel like on cloud nine, like again, like spicing things up. If you're already with someone, you know, maybe, um, what do you call it? Like revitalizing that passion, renewing your relationship, um, in some sorts. Okay. Yeah. If you're single, I definitely see a lot of options coming your way, a lot of lovers coming your way, a lot of people coming your way that are going to be expressing interest in you, okay? Um, yeah, I am seeing some Leo energy as well, but just do expect a lot of, like, fun things to happen, like, 
you know, uh, it's just a, like fun, flirtatiousness, uh, playful energy. Okay, this definitely can develop into something more, something serious if you want to. But Leo, I mean, this does have to do with like the fifth house. So like, yeah, um, I, I do feel like you are gonna have like a lot of prospects, and yeah, not all of them will necessarily be relationship material, but they'll they'll definitely be you know at least someone that will be you know worthy of being like relationship material, and it's up to you to decide you know what it is that you want. But definitely like you know this this has more of like a light hearted energy to it. Again, like fun day it's lightheartedness like you know playfulness you know cheerful energy just like you know feeling up like you know getting your spirits up um this you know sometimes this could also have to do with like you know friends like friendships as well so um just being around a lot of people leo is like a very social sign okay um maybe you could be meeting someone through friends or through like you know your social circle that that's also a possibility we also got gemini the butterfly yeah speaking of like you know social now, socializing okay i'm definitely seeing that now is the time to really get yourself out there to socialize i do feel like you're gonna be making a lot of friends you're gonna be meeting a lot of new people okay um yeah this says like street smart you know curious communicative okay yeah so i feel like you're gonna be meeting a lot of people obviously like not everyone will be like you know long-term friendship uh type of thing but like, you know there's just people in passing people that you know you'll check up on like social media once in a while to see you know what they're doing okay but just do expect to make a lot of connections network a lot meet a lot of people that is how you you know do end up meeting like you know long-term friends long-term you know getting long getting into long-term relationships you know things like that right so kind of just like putting yourself out there yeah communication collaboration networking i feel like you know um if you're trying to look for a job or you're trying to look for that perfect job opportunity you know, whatever career related things, now is the time to, you know, again, get yourself out there, like LinkedIn is a great way to grow and connect with people. I do feel like you're going to be meeting a lot of friends and, you know, you could be making connections through those friends or meeting people through those friends that are going to help you reach some sort of goal that you're trying to manifest. So I really feel like um, in terms of manifestation, one way to fulfill your manifestations is to, again, put yourself out there, put your energy out there. I know a lot of manifestation is mental and like, you know, you don't need to take too much action in, in the 3D uh, for certain manifestations. But um, yeah, I, I do feel like sometimes when you manifest, you get certain hunches to take inspired action that then lead you to your manifestations and end goals. Okay, so um, yeah, let's pick a couple more cards. Yeah, we got try and flow. So go with the flow. Okay, um, sometimes when you just go with the flow. Uh, th that's when, you know, things are able to flow to you and through you easily, right? Rather than micromanaging every single aspect of life. So um, even if, you know, if there's nothing wrong in like setting an intention and, you know, wanting something specific to manifest, right? Nothing wrong with that. But in order for you to get that, you know, be open to receiving life's messages, the universe's messages. I personally like going on walks. Like I live in New York City and I just go on walks and I kind of just see where things take me. Um, yeah, it's really interesting because yesterday uh, I went on a walk with an intention of like, I'm going to find a spiritual store, a spiritual shop. And I actually got this dress from that spiritual store. I love this dress so, so, so much. Okay. And I didn't look anything up. I didn't look up on Google. Oh, where's the mirror spiritual shop? I kind of just like walked. I just kind of like, you know, let the universe guide me. And I found, I ended up finding a spiritual shop, which like, you know, I live in New York. Yes, there's a lot of spiritual shops, but um yeah I, I mean it was like it happened really fast too it happened like you know the first like 20 minutes of like you know setting that intention to find a spiritual store and I ended up like just really lift it ended up lifting up my spirits I got a lot of cool artifacts from that um shop I saw a lot of signs you know are surrounding my manifestation and um yeah you know just just going on a lot you know walks just kind of you know putting yourself out there getting yourself out there uh is really great because it expands your consciousness you know the more information that you're taking in and you know this could be things that like you know you see out of your peripheral vision or you know conversations you hear in passing by um literally the smarter you get because our subconscious minds are super computers right and you know the way to really like charge and programmer you know subconscious mind is okay first of all you know we we absorb a lot of information we're gasping a lot of information as we go on these walks as we sort of like you know um put ourselves out there right these are all consciousness expanding activities and when it comes to manifesting specific things or setting you know specific intentions based off of like you know what you've already learned what you've already engaged in you know when you really program your subconscious mind okay when you really um again, like, you know, set specific intentions, all the information that you've been taking in will come up, like you'll be able to access that information and process it as well, right? Like think of your subconscious mind as like a computer program. So a computer is like the most powerful thing ever, right? But it can also be like the most, you know, the dumbest thing ever if you don't know how to program it. But like, you know, uh, the thing with the internet, there's like, 
and there's like a multitude of information there's like honestly like almost like unlimited information right but it's up to us to figure out you know what it is that we want um you know, out of the internet. And that's the same thing with the world. That's the same thing with our universe. It's up to us to program, um, you know, our subconscious mind, the way that we program a computer in order for us to, you know, get the insights that we want out of it, get the answers that we want out of it, right? So, um, yeah, but the thing is, like, you know, the more you expand your consciousness, the more you learn, read, um, take in information, like, the easier life gets for you. That's why, like, you'll notice, like, a lot of smart people, you know, it's easy for them to, like, get jobs, grasp opportunities, because, like, you know, they know how to use their knowledge. They know how to tap into their knowledge, tap into their intellect. You have that capability as well. You are no different than, like, you know, Albert Einstein or Nikola Tesla. It's just that, you know, they were tapped into their infinite intelligence more. So this is, this just reminds me to remind you to tap into your infinite intelligence more in order for you to, you know, get what you want out of life, okay? Because you have that infinite intelligence everything is within you all the answers are within you but it's up to you to program your subconscious mind to lead you to those answers and you know let your subconscious mind surprise you your subconscious mind is like the most powerful thing you will ever come across it's the most powerful supercomputer ever i would even say it's more powerful than actual computers because had it not been for humans like you know we wouldn't have even known how to program a computer humans are like you know some of the most powerful beings ever so yeah um okay uh, i'm gonna go ahead and pick a couple of tarot cards to see you know just what else is coming into your life okay so just to sum it up um you know channel your infinite intelligence get yourself out there socialize network build connections um expand your consciousness um you are going to be manifesting like a lot of options into your love life or if you're with someone you're going to be um kind of renewing your relationship you know doing fun romantic things okay but let's see what else is going on yeah we got the ace of wands yeah i'm seeing with this ace of wands again um there are new opportunities coming in this has to do with you know that spark that creativity i do feel like a lot of you could be embarking upon um a new job offer new opportunity or new hobbies or something that's really gonna excite you again you know get you going i uh, keep reading words like passions hobbies you're gonna find a hobby that you're really passionate about or revisit a hobby and you know kind of yeah uh you know revisit yeah certain hobbies that you might you might have left in the past and like regain your passion for those hobbies we also got the ace of cups yeah ace of cups um ace of wands i do see a new beginning coming in love for you okay i do feel like you know um a lot of you could be getting cuffed up a lot of you could be getting into a relationship i keep hearing like you know that honeymoon period like a lot of romance you know like that fun period when you're just getting to know each other and like you know the emotions are new and um you know you have like that crush sort of feeling for them okay so um get ready for that to be revived okay or for that to come into your life or revive your relationship we got knight of pentacles yes i do feel like you know there is something that you've been manifesting that is coming into fruition you're really laying a very strong foundation for this thing to come in but be ready to receive okay um get ready just be in receptive mode and um things will really play out we also got the magician again your manifestations are coming to fruition in the best most seamless way possible so um if you have been wondering when that's coming i'm seeing like one week to one month you're going to be seeing a lot of movement in um your manifestations okay and like multiple manifestations are going to be coming in so that's really really exciting um yeah but anyways i will go ahead and end the video right here i do want to let you know i have a manifestation challenge going on on my patreon where i give you self-concept affirmations to say every week and i also give you signs to look for every week in order for you to um you know just expedite your manifestation so what you know how this works is we get together as a group and collectively manifest for each other thus amplifying and accelerating our individual manifestations and i also do offer in-depth care readings as well as um what else do i do i offer one-on-one -on -one manifestation coaching i make cups custom made ah custom made subliminal what is going on my throat chakra oh my gosh and i also do have a guide out on my etsy that you can use to manifest love new love soulmate love any type of love and yeah um if you're interested in any of those services check out the description box below where you will find my website you can sign up for those services through my website and yeah i will end the video right here thank you so much love and light